I'd like to share with you some of the work that we've done at Jessup's Fertility UK, aiming to improve the patient's experience during a new site receipt retrieval. So a little bit of background. NICE guidelines in 2004 recommended that patients had uh, egg retrieval under conscious sedation. In Jessup Fertility, since it opened in 2001, we have used the majority of, of our patients have had sedation. As nurses, we find that one of the biggest questions asked by patients and one of their biggest fears throughout the whole of their process of IVF is one of the biggest questions, how painful is it going to be at the egg collection? So as a nurse-led and quality improvement, I set out to try and improve this for our patients. So looking back in 2009, we did a pain audit. We looked at, it was quite a small study, we had 51 patients, and we looked at the types of needles that we use, which at the time was single lumen, cook, and double lumen. We also looked at our medications used pre and throughout our egg collections, which were tamazepam, fentanyl, entonox, and plus or minus lidocaine. The study concluded that 50% of our patients still scored moderate to severe pain, 40% of doctors underestimated the pain, and the lengthier the procedure, the more painful it was for the patient. So we needed to improve this. In 2012, we, we re-audited. We looked at 100 patients that were, took part in the audit. We gave each of them IV paracetamol prior to the procedure, and then we introduced a single lumen needle scent vitriol where appropriate. We then assess the pain on an observational pain score. The score we used was a 10 centimetre continuum with the left signifying no pain, the right signifying severe pain. We asked the nurse or the doctor plus the patient to individually put their pain score down following the egg collection. We then looked at the fentanyl dose the time of the procedure and the needle type used and we correlated this to the pain experienced. With the results we firstly looked at the patients and the doctor's pain scores in relation to the different needles used and we found that the, main, the pain score was significantly related to the needle used and the lower pain score was recorded with the sweet med needles that we used compared to other needles. We also did notify that the doctors still were monitoring pain less than patients were experiencing, but this wasn't significant in the study. We then looked at the fentanyl consumption in relation to the needle, and again we found a significant difference at the SWIMED needle, the fentanyl consumption was reduced in these patients. We looked at the paracetamol and see if there was any effect with the, with the fentanyl consumption also. So in 2009, where we didn't use any paracetamol, the average fentanyl consumption per patient was 95 micrograms per patient. And in 2012, where all patients had paracetamol, this was significantly reduced to 69 micrograms per patient. In relation to the fentanyl consumption and the egg collection, Again, we noticed that at collections um, under 15 minutes, the consumption of fentanyl was reduced to at collections that were performed over a longer period of time. We looked at some risk factors, such as endometriosis, pelvic adhesions, pelvic surgery and painful at collections, and any pelvic pathology. We did find that the pain obviously increased the what if they had one or more risk factors. The graphs here just show that the amount of the risk factors and the pain score that was recorded. This highlighted to the unit that we did need to increase our fentanyl baseline consumption um, dose for our patients who had one or more risk factors. So in conclusion, a tapered single lumen needle sense vitrolife and IV paracetamol have significantly reduced the pain, patient's pain experience. It's reduced the length of procedures and also the fentanyl dose required. 
and with risk stratification of patients, we can use this and administer less fentanyl. So in conclusion, effective pain management does improve the patient comfort and efficiency of the clinic. The benefits to the patient are their less anticipatory anxieties, less pain during the procedure and a faster recovery. And for us at the unit, it's a reduced use of consumables, safer practice and reduced treatment length and a faster discharge of patients. Changing our practice has made a better all experience overall. What to do next? We're going to continue with the IV paracetamol. We're going to encourage the use of sense single lumen needles where appropriate. And we will also consider risk factors when we're, we're giving the fentanyl. And we will re-audit. So I'd like to thank everybody for listening. I hope this has been useful. We've definitely found it helpful in our unit and it's very positive. Thank you for listening.